Hey, what up, guys? Welcome to Beats Designs. Um, this is my first tutorial on how to do a music um, equalizer type thing. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Pull this video up right here. Um, if you see the background, this is like a still, um, still shot of the one I was working on previously right here. Um, just for the fun of it, but here it is. A little render of what I had rendering earlier. It just took like so long. I just stopped it. Okay, so first, what you want to do is open up Cinema, um, File New. Okay, not open. New. Um, let's go into the render settings. I have a render setting already made. Um, I usually go HDV, HDTV 720, um, 29. So it's like HD and all that. Um, you pick your save settings. I usually go AVI movie or QuickTime movie. Uh, multi pass, I just leave it. Go best for anti aliasing. Um, filter animation. Uh, min level and max level, those are what I usually use right there. Um, let's go ahead and turn those on. Um, just leave all that the same. Now, since we're going to be using music in here or some sort of sound, you're going to want to hit this little button right here. That makes it to where you, when you play it, you can hear it. Um, let's go ahead and turn these up to 500 frames. And the first thing we want to do is insert a cube. Um, bring down the cube size just a little bit, however big you want. That's good enough, I guess. Doesn't have to be perfect. Next, you want to grab a cloner object, drag the cube into the cloner object. Um, come over to um, object and change the mode to radial. Increase. Uh, first actually change the plane to XZ and then increase the radius um, it's up to you how big you want it I'm just going to do it about right there and then make it however big you want it let's go 20 come out just a little bit and go down um, next you want to let's go ahead and put a plane in here Easier to make bigger. Um, all right. Next, you want to go to MoGraph, come down to Sound Effector, put the strength to how like how you want it. Um, click the little sound file buttons, with the ellipses or whatever it's called. Um, go to wherever you have a s file saved for a song or a sound. Make sure it is a WAV file, otherwise it will not work. Um, get that in there, let's go and increase this a little bit more. Let's see what else we need. Um, pretty sure that's it on this. Uh, now if it doesn't work right away, make sure you have effect the sound effector inside of the cloner object. Um, one way to do this is when you go to your get a sound effector, make sure this is clicked will do it automatically for you. Um, next we want to go to cloner object or sound effector, change the mode or apply mode, make it step. Um, make sure this is checked. Yeah, it's nothing fancy yet, but it's getting there. Um, the more you increase this, the more it will work. Also, come over to let's see which one is it? Sound effector. Um, uncheck or uncheck <laughs> um, position, and check scale. Change the Y to about six, between six and eight. Um, it'll probably get really big. What you can do is just drag it down. You know, um, according to however you want it. Um, if you want it like this, or somewhere gone, and then... 
You can adjust it however you want. Let's see. If you don't like it that big, you can. Uh, come over here. To. Strength. Turn the strength down. A lot, a little bit, doesn't matter. Uh, bring this back up. Decrease in the size too, so it's up to you however you want. Okay, um, let's go with this. Uh, new material, reflection, uh, turn the reflection down. Go to texture. Wow. Click this little arrow. Um, Fresnel or however you say it. Bring that down as well. I'm gonna do white for this color. Uh, drag and drop that on there. Um, next, we're going to copy this, the plane. And we're gonna rotate it up 90 degrees. Right there. Bring it back some. I'm gonna copy this one and rotate it 90 degrees. Move it back. Okay. Now, make sure you. Oh, those are already on there. Okay, new material. This is gonna be for the equalizer. Turn reflection on. Bring that. Down to about eight or so, you can choose. Um, we'll just do this. Back up to color. Um, let's go like a light blue. Usually looks kind of good. Drag and drop that on there. Put a light. About there. And then kind of get some goodness I guess um, you can adjust the light however you want do it like this darkens it you know all that stuff uh, if we come over to this one you can darken it so it's a different color uh, see how this looks Okay, okay. Um, doesn't have the same like reflections as the background does. That's just because I did a few things differently. Um, but you can mess with it however you want. And I th think that's about it. You just um, when you render it, you want to make sure you have this checked, and then it will say when you go to save it, it will say sound, and make sure that box is checked too. In um, it should work. If not, just put it in like Windows um, Live Media or Live Movie Maker, and just put your sound with it. It'll sync perfectly. Um, otherwise, I think this is pretty much it. <laughs>